Okay. You are now audible. Bye, everybody. Hello, everyone. Woo, let's welcome, go. Welcome. We got here Ars and Koka, who are going to run. I want to see which relay series. Relay. Yes, relays in the title twice. Don't think about it. Um, hope you enjoy. These two are very entertaining and very skilled players, so I'm looking forward to this after you, Ars. Yeah, the, I'll, I'll explain. This is a pretty long, uh, pretty long run, so I'll just explain things as it go along, as it goes along. So, you know, we can start pretty soon. But yeah, I, I would like to give a, a special thanks to Dabis721. Thank you for the raid. Thank you. Thank you. We got a good show in for you tonight. I'm on the mic, so it's <laughs> it'll probably go badly, but you know it's fine. But yeah, uh, anyways, video game, uh, we can get started if you like. I'll pull up a timer. Okay. Uh, you may do the countdown. Uh, just Hyoka, ready. I don't know how to convey that more succinctly. Sounds good. Okay. Sure. I will All go right. from three to zero on zero. You go. Okay. Three, two, one, zero. Go. Woo! Video game. All right. So this is I want a series mixture relay. Uh, these games were made for Japanese. I want to be the guy fan game events aptly named. Uh, series Mixture Relay, and there were six of them, so there's six games, one for each event. Uh, you'll notice as the games go along, they improve in generally length and quality. So, you know, you start out with this, it's pretty standard, you know, guy rock, couple traps, fun stuff, some, <laughs> some unfair stuff, but you know, it's fine. But, uh... Yeah, there, there's six games, and they're all good. So we, we got quite a few games to go. Anyways, I'm eating balls on this, which is unfortunate. But yeah, there, there's a lot of variety in these games. A lot of quirky stuff, so it'll be a jolly old time. Anyway, I thought I was going to be doing this alone, because this was kind of an idea I wanted to do for a while. But then I was streaming runs, and Hyoka was like, hey, <laughs> want to race? And I was like, yeah, sure. So now we're here. Also, that save I just did, it, like, I'm very thankful every time I get past it. Because you either have to jump on basically the first frame you land, or somehow weave through it. So, you know, we're good. Anyways, here's the first boss. Uh, you, there's a thing with these games involving beds... Uh, generally these games have a boss that's a bed in some form. I, I don't know why. I assume there's an in-joke, but I've never been able to learn. A little hard given I don't, you know, speak Japanese and I wasn't around for the original events. But, you know, there, there's some lore there. It's fun stuff. Anyways, also this boss is like unfair, <laughs> so I gotta hope I don't get walled. Because these are some big projectiles. That is so tragic. But you know, it's like I said, things typically go wrong. <laughs> So yeah, uh, th there's another thing about these games, is every game has like one or two bosses where you just gotta hope things go well. So in this game, I would say generally it's this boss, because uh, you can just kind of get walled. That was just a fumble on my behalf, there there's no one to blame but myself. Uh, in 2, the first boss has luck-based damage. <laughs> in three, the second to last and last boss are basically luck-based damage at parts. Uh, four has a real son of a gun. Five has is its own can of worms. 
And six, six is... Six just never goes well. It, it just never goes well. Okay, please, please just let... Okay, the bed is dead. Smooth sailing from here. But yeah, uh, th this game is mostly some pretty standard platforming. I'm gonna take this slow because every time I try to go fast, I lose. This game is mostly some pretty standard platforming, but you know, it's fun. It's nice. Two has some freaking tonal whiplash, which is fun. <laughs> So it'll be fun to get to. But yeah, it, it's fun to see as well as the games go along. They generally get better and better with production value as the years go on. This jump is just tricky, so I'm not surprised I lost. Anyways, th this jump over here I always die to a few times. Okay, I'm better. The, the bad news is I have to do it again. Restarting music? Let me tell you, buddy, get used to it. <laughs> we got six games of it. <laughs> We're never losing that, baby. That's a staple of the series. And Nal asked me if he wa if I wanted him to mod the games in order to remove restarting music. <laughs> I said no. Um, I'm fucking dead. I'm so good. Sorry, I just wanted to focus so this guy dies. This guy's also kind of a scumbag. Not 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 nearly as bad, but still a scumbag sometimes. But yeah. This is, this game there's not like really too much to talk about other than things generally go bad. <laughs> Now here we got some real, uh, real high production value lasers. And here I gotta reset and swim for my life. Come on, swim. Come on, swim. There it is. Okay, swim better. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I don't really have much to say about this game, so I'll talk about what I had for dinner. Uh, I went to an Italian restaurant and I got baked penne. And when you order the dinner, it automatically comes with a side salad. And you know, of course, you gotta get the ranch with the side salad. And my goodness, what a feast. What a feast. Also, this button you have to shoot like a f so many times in order for it to raise. Okay, here's the final boss. Uh, so this apple bounces around and you have to shoot it. And that's how you damage the boss. It takes a while. <laughs> it takes a while. And also, this boss is, like, hard. Especially this... well... Another... Another... Apple shooting other apples... Spawns in soon enough. 
and then it gets real scary. And then here's the real bastard. Sorry, I'm, I'm gonna try and lock in real quick. Oh yeah, the, they also, this boss also has refreshing iframes, so <laughs> I have to be kind of careful. Okay, horrible run of one, but that's fine. Anyways, next game. Uh, now we're on SMR2. There's no breaks in this run, you just go. <laughs> you just go and go and you gotta swap between games. Alright. So this game starts out with that skip where you jump up there and then you do a one frame. It's pretty cool. Let me tell you, I'm elated I got it. <laughs> I am elated that I got it, because usually that does not go well. Anyways, yeah, this game is a continuation in the style of the first one. You know, you, you got Guy Rock, you got Grass Blocks, you know, I'm here for a jolly old time. Got some fun moving stuff. This gate is interesting because you gotta go like halfway through and then you gotta go back because that guy's weird. I would say this game has generally more things kind of going on than the last one. There's a spike that walks. He's really cute. He's a, he's a fun guy. Alright, boss one. As I stated prior, but uh, it'll become more apparent. Uh, so this guy has four attacks, one attack you can damage it on. <laughs> and you need to damage him six times. So, we could be here a while. <laughs> By could, I mean we will be here a while. So it can rain apples, it can shoot beds, it can make the text fly up, or you can attack it. Rats! So yeah, we're, we're here for the long haul. think about it. Okay, th this attack is actually scary because you could just get rolled. Oh, come on. For the one time. My man. Damn. I was hoping for the culture he'd hit me up, but you know. Oh! Alright, I'll take that. My, my man. God, but uh, that's another bed down, by the way. It's another bed in the books. Get, get used to seeing him. Uh, next, we're at the scary house. <laughs> You'll see a, a fun blue guy. I wonder if anyone can guess who the fun blue guy in the scary house is. Take, take your guesses, everyone. There's our man. There's our fun guy. Anyways, yeah, it's <laughs> it's a horror stage. I always find horror stages in fan games. Okay, the real horror is coming up IRL in my life soon. Goober is quickly approaching the desk and he's looking at me. Oh, jeez. And Al Oni's gonna chase me here. Oh, my stars. Alright, so Al Oni, the lights go out, you can't see him, so you gotta maneuver around him. It's a little tricky, but you gotta go to escape and then he leaves you alone. No, Goober, no, not, no, Goober, not right now. Go chill on the, go chill on the bed or something. Not, not, not right now, alright? Okay. Crisis of cat averted, thank goodness. 
also I'll only avert it. <laughs> so yeah, like I was saying, this is a horror stage. I always find horror stages in fan games to be very funny because uh, it's pretty hard to convey horror in a fan game. But you know, it's fun. Anyways, that was the last, not the second to last out only. Alright, next boss. A lot of things happen here. So you gotta go here, and then the window cracks, and then the bat spawns in. Uh, you gotta bring him down so you can shoot him a bunch. There are no iframes, so... Beautiful. Alright, next, the right window, and then you gotta find which one is real. That's a shame. It is gonna take a while to kill now. Okay, so one of these is the one I have to shoot. Man, that is such a bad bounce I might reset. <laughs> That's the worst bounce of life! <laughs> so yeah, one of those is the one you have to shoot. If you get a really bad angle, it's better to reset. <laughs> that, was, that was about as bad as I could have hoped for. Damn. Bro, which one? Oh my gosh, I gotta kill him. Oh, thank goodness. Alright. <laughs> Alright, next. Uh, the apple falls and then this weird ghost comes in, but you can kind of just mash it down before it does anything. Okay, awesome post-death cutscene. <laughs> next. Happy times. So this stage uh, has a this is the gimmick. You stand and hit blocks, and they turn the killers. And you have to turn them all to red in order to pass through. You know, simple stuff. It's not Qbert because Qbert you could just land back on. These are fan the games. Anyways, get ready for the six speed strip. I'll probably fail it. Alright, so you gotta do that, and then we go around. Then we fall here, you gotta hit these. Then you fall on that, oh, and you beat the shuriken back. What a beauty. Yeah, these screens aren't, like, too complex. Just a few fun speed things you can do. But the speediest thing is not dying. I'm not abiding by that rule, tragically. Get for that, then this room, then the boss. Oh yeah, the boss is fun. I hate him. <laughs> Actually, just a piece of work. Alright, boom, there he is. Uh, so this guy has, like, four attacks. Two of them are aimed. Uh, two of them are, like, RNG, basically. Uh, he randomly swaps positions. It might be timed, but I don't think it's consistent. <laughs> That is not consistent. <laughs> so, there comes the difficulty in the fight, is, uh... He does that. There's no warning. <laughs> he just moves. <laughs> and now, when half of his attacks are aimed, uh, it becomes pretty tricky. Hey. No, get back. Oh yeah, you also can't like consistently shoot it on the ground because of how thin the legs are. The bullet can just fly through it. Okay, beautiful. He's dead. I'm happy. Yay. Yay for me. Dead. Alright, ne next game. That was not a bad run of two. I will take that. Next game, we're on the three. Notice, more production value. Boom. Alright, game. 
Uh, so this starts off like the others, except like it's a little bit better. Anyways, there's some skips I gotta do, like that. Oh yeah, I don't have any like skips to talk about for a little bit, so I can talk about what I was eating again. Uh, so I got some baked penne for dinner, I went to an Italian place. Got the side salad ranch. And then also, I got the fried provolone wedges as an appetizer. Those were mighty fine. I gotta tell ya, I didn't realize it until recently. I think I like provolone more than mozzarella. I, th I think provolone beats out mozzarella, honestly. Yeah, and I, I, that's what I'm saying, Wolves. I saw, I was like, provolone wedges, okay, alright, alright. But they, no, they're they're fire. I think I, I think I've been to Provolone more than mozzarella though. Like I did, it took me so long to realize. It's it's amazing what you can realize about yourself so late in life, as if being like <laughs> twenty two is late in life. But even still, it's amazing. Yes, I am Provolone. I I am. All right, next boss, the bed returns. But this time, there's many beds. Because we have the apartment complex. Now, I would have said I find it quite simple, but I just died, so I don't have the right to say that. Anyways, yeah, he, he, the, the apartment complex shoots out a bunch of beds. Oh, and then the next phase, it commits mass genocide. If it feels like it. Oh, no genocide today! Holy! That, you know, I got a little too close to the sun there, but it's fine. The sun's a banger. Anyways, yeah, this one has more complex traps. Oh, dude, everyone, you can recreate this in chat. Oh, this would be so cool if you did that. <laughs> one of the best saves. No! Okay, it was so good I wanted to do it again. That was intentional. You just want to make sure everyone can get them in. Alright, boom, there we go. Anyways, here's one of my favorite saves. You shoot that button and then this platform just comes up from the ground. <laughs> uh, I screwed up. I, I, you know, I enjoyed it so much I want to do it again. As simple as that. There you go. A little early, but we got fruit. Well, we're not fruit. We're, we are not even close to fruit. What what a shamble of epic proportions. Alright, beautiful. That that screen is tricky, so I'm not surprised to fumble a bit. Oh, this is a fun screen too. The the spikes cometh. See, a fun thing is that sometimes my jump button just likes to one frame. Yay! Anyways, yeah, you have to do a big jump over here because that button makes the spikes go wild. Mm. Yeah. No! This save is tricky, so I'm not surprised. Three has a number of tricky segments. No. So I'm not surprised. I mean, the game just genuinely has a lot of tricky stuff. It's not like crazy hard, but hard to be consistent. That's that's a good way to put it. That's a good way to put it. Also, here's something that's not consistent: shooting this damn button. I'm so good. Okay, here's a boss that's not consistent. So this guy, you shoot him, and he makes apples come from the walls. Uh, 
Bad news. That. <laughs> Bad news. That. Beautiful. Beautiful. Alright, we don't we don't have to <laughs> joke about the loss of Shinzo Abe. <laughs> Definitely not bring that up in order to prod humor into it even more. Okay, this jump sucks. Let's get it. That's not it. That's it. Beautiful. Oh yeah, this song is awesome, by the way. So yeah, this stage is a lot of moving blocks and they move weird. And also a lot of things happen like this falls. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna reset here because the... So the next save on those platforms, the cycle that you get from the save is awful. So if I can do it from this save, it might be easier. Emphasis on the might. So let's see. Cause like even from that save, it is it is not consistent. Ah, oh, what a beautiful lineup. What what a beautiful lineup. You can throw that out on the beauty pageant walkway, and they'd be stunned. This save is fun because you gotta go shoot this button and then like wacky hijinks ensue. And you gotta go down here and then you gotta go jump through that and then go here. Alright, next boss. Uh, there's one thing to remember first. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> So, this boss, uh, you gotta shoot blue and then you shot, gotta shoot green. So here you gotta shoot green, the other one you gotta shoot blue. If you shoot the color you're not supposed to, uh, it heals the boss. Which is really bad. That's really bad. You don't want to heal the boss. It's really bad. So, to remind myself, I say blue. Green. Blue, and I gotta be close. Damn it. Alright, gotta back away. Green. Okay, blue. This one's fun. We gotta hope. <laughs> oh! My man. Alright, this one's bad. We gotta hope. <laughs> this is so dense and messed up. And the angle it bounces in at first is, like, really hard to hit. Ah! Oh! Woo! Now that is satisfying. Alright, this, this, this is the first game in a series to have a third stage, by the way. It's an awesome darkness stage. The aesthetic's very cool. There's some... Wrecking balls. They move around. Alright, th this one's fun. Uh, so he goes around once. Then he goes around twice. Then he stops. Then he goes around. Then he goes back. Then he goes again. Then he speeds up and goes twice. Then he goes fast like four times? No, three times. And then here he goes four. And here he goes slow twice, and then fast five times. And then he flies right. Beautiful. I speak while doing that save in order to not forget. Also, this save is tricky. 
Yeah, I jumped at the worst time possible. Granted, it is so hard to time that one. There we go. Alright, the the spike walking man reappears. Here for a jolly old time. There's some traps here, but if you do some tricky maneuvers like that, you can skip like half of them. It's pretty cool. That comes, and that comes from a wall. Then you'd think you'd drop down, but you don't because that falls and there's actually a block black blocking that way. Alright, now laser men show up. You kind of got to time your jumps so you don't get hit. Uh, now we got to hope. This is like kind of dense. Yay! Alright, so we don't land in the middle here because there's springs and they spring you up into the spikes. Alright. I would like A, a report on where Hyoka is, and B, I'll explain this boss. So, it's like a, you know that cup swapping game you, where you gotta remember where the die is? Uh, yeah, it's that, except boss, and <laughs> becomes unreadable. <laughs> Practically tied? Aw, oh, beautiful, this is the perfect tiebreaker. Because you'll notice this becomes kind of un, uh, unattainable via the normal human eye. Alright, you're here. Alright, next. Alright, if my eyes are good, I can sometimes remember where this is, but we'll see. I'm not confident. If it was left, I'll be mad. I read it, but I doubted myself. Alright, that one I just missed. Okay, I definitely lost it. I'm going this one. Ah! Oh, my beloved. Alright, so this one you have to avoid projectiles and try to figure out where it is. So I don't even try, I just guess this one. <laughs> Because it's, uh... Oh! Let's go! Alright. Boom. That, that, that was a pretty good final boss. I'll take that gladly. Next game. Alright. Here's four. Uh, I'll wait for the fire. Anyways, here's four. Uh, it's quite a jump up in production value compared to the other ones. At least, I feel that way. Uh, and this is also, I should explain as well, so th this whole series, Series Mixed Relay 1 through 6, they're all made by the maker Carnival. Uh, however, 4 and 5 are collabs with other makers. 4 is a collab with Dorpy, one of the hosts of Series Mixture Relay, the events, uh, and then one of them's made with Klein. Uh, who's like a scumbag and also a diconic maker. <laughs> that goofball. Anyways, yeah, there's like... These fire are really weird. So, you, if you go on the other side of them, uh, they go down. But like, sometimes it's the left side, sometimes it's the right side. Th this screen especially, they all do whatever they want to. So you just have to go with the flow. It's hard to get, you know, fast strats and whatnot when they're all just kind of on their own timeline. And this screen leads you all around. But you know, that's good. Alright, this could be, this could be a big for the race. So, uh, coming up on this, this is a reference to, uh, 1FS22. Uh... So we gotta go back through the whole shebang without dying. And also some extra rooms, because we can go different places now. And it's all frozen, so the fire doesn't kill. The spikes still kill, though. So, you know, gotta, gotta be worried about those. They're very worrisome, by the way. So I'd like to not die, but we'll see. Oh yeah, I should have explained about that fire skip earlier, oh well. Basically you do a platform jump and you skip what the save is actually supposed to do, it's pretty cool. 
I think I was explaining that Clyde is a scumbag. And, you know, I, feel, I think that's fair. <laughs> no? By the grace of God, we're chillin'. Alright, here's the first boss, Caillou. Uh, it does aiming for a while, then it does like the most insane attack ever, so I kinda go out of the way, but you also want to damage the boss so it dies quicker. So it's a little, it's a little finicky. And then next it decapitates itself! <laughs> Uh, classic. And, you know, gotta, gotta do the old frisbee head as well. So yeah, this game is not for the faint of heart. There's some decapitation involved. Damn it! <laughs> Alright, things might get bad. Fair, fair warning, things might get bad. <laughs> I won't- I won't explain, but I'll, I'll just keep talking about the run. Uh, th so this- I believe this game- this game is five stages, and it alters between Carnival making a stage and Dorpy making a stage. So this is a stage by Dorpy. Classic door paint. More uh, pizza tower references with this stage, this tile set. <laughs> it's pretty fun. I'm gonna wait for this cycle because it sucks. Oh, yeah. Uh, so here's a tricky jump coming up. On this screen, you're supposed to like go around and push the block and then stack the block so you can go over to the right because you know you could get a block stacked on top of this. Uh, now, if I'm better, though, I can just jump it. Hey, I can just jump it. But no, it's- no, it's Pizza Tower. I'm sorry, that joke isn't funny, yes, it's World in 4. I'm, I- I profusely apologize. Anyways, you gotta shoot uh, these canisters of water in order to raise the water so you can access different parts of the level. So now we go down here and we're gonna have to shoot that water as well. And then this on block makes uh, this spinny thing start to spin, which is, you know, always fun. Who doesn't like? Sp I was gonna say who doesn't like spinning, but honestly, like the last few times I've spun in real life, I've like wanted to throw up. So I get it. Honestly, are there any spinning haters? Like I, I, I kind of get it. Anyways, now we gotta swim our way out. It's a bit of a backtrack, but it should be a, a fine jaunt. Anyways, weird block. Okay, weird block worked. This in sign falls. Alright, bed. Another bed for the books, baby! Woo! Alright, this boss has three attacks. This attack, you cannot damage it on. The other attack, you can damage it on once. And the other attack, you can damage it on twice. Woo! <laughs> oh, the twice attack! Woo! Oh yeah, also this boss is a scumbag because... 
Once you damage it enough, it'll go into Outrage. The bad news about Outrage is you can get... You can get some pretty unlucky positions on these uh, Fallen Beds. So we're gonna hope that doesn't happen. Alright, you know what they say. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Alright, next stage. You shoot these things and they turn. Puzzle. Less puzzle, more just trap. But, <laughs> you know, kind of puzzle. This song is a good one, yeah. Man, this stage is like definitely one of those more simple ones, but it still has some tricky stuff. This is not Castlevania music. It's some Mario music, but I don't remember what. Hmm. Anyways, yeah, you have to do a backtrack there. Here, you gotta jump up and shoot this in order to do some hijinks. I go over and shoot that one, so you can shoot that, then you can shoot that. Yeah. And this one's a little tricky because there's like a... There's the old bonk jump. You know, I think... I think universally, everyone who plays platformers of any kind has infamy for jumps like this. Uh, the, the tricky little rascal. Oh yeah, here, if you go fast, you can catch this platform back, because you just uh, gotta go up and shoot that. Very nice, very nice. Alright, let's not fumble this. And let's not forget about this trap. Alright. Next boss. This could be the divide, so we grab that a line. Uh, so this boss... randomly chooses platforms to go away and stay, as you can see, and it also randomly switches the place, the where the blocks are, as you can see. Uh, now, you can see the edge of the screen on the right is pretty close, so we can make that jump. We just have to get this guy to move. And now I need to make the jump. Unfortunately, it's hard. I made it. I'm so good. I'm so good. All right, that jump is like super quadruple frame perfect. So I'm, I'm like Jesus too. Okay, that that's too far. But I, I'm quite elated to have done that because I hate that jump. <laughs> All right, next we gotta climb the tower. Yeah, we go in and out of the tower, it's pretty fun. We go up and down the tower. To find the bastard at the top. Uh, honestly, I just like the jam with the song, it's very good. This is also like the point where you can actually jam with this song, because soon enough I'm going to have to start resetting. Alright, so a new in new function gets introduced. WIND! Uh, so it goes right... Well, it goes right, then it goes left. You can reset it. Uh, also, that block isn't real, so you can just skip half of the save. That helps out. Anyway, some of these jumps you need the wind in order to make them, so you kind of have to wait for the opportune time. Beautiful. Alright, here we reset, then we reset again in order to get a good wind cycle. Beautiful. Now we gotta fall down this, and you know, hijinks ensue, but then we just go back to the other screen and go under. Now we're here. Now we wait a bit so that I can get on this block, 
rise, and then I can get here, and it's not like a pain in the bum hole. Alright, back to climbing. Wind is dead. Very fortunate. I think another relatable gamer moment is... I, I, I feel wind is not a very beloved mechanic. But hey, you know, it was a little windy on the walk I went on today. Let me tell you, that was a treat. That was a bloody treat. Anyways, yeah, that, that, like, things happen there. You just have to wait a while. Gate. I'm so good. Not too much of the screen either. You just kind of go along. But I lied. There's a trip. And then you gotta go over here instead. Yeah, real life wind is, like, so awesome unless it cuts the power. That's the worst. Alright, here's the f asshole. So this boss has three attacks. You can damage them on one. The other two you cannot. He's got a lot of HP, so like you need a lot of down. Rip roar to start, I gotta tell you. Anyways, yeah, this sword attack is luckily fine because it's aimed. The fireball attack, which is the other one, is actually kind of tricky. Yeah, so this boss can last between, like, 20 seconds. Well, I'd say, like, 30 seconds and 3 minutes. Thirty seconds to infinity. That is true. Yeah, this infuriated fight can never end. Nah. Ah. Oh! That was so good. <laughs> I am elated by that. Alright, next. Cave story. Thirty seconds ahead, check this out. The final boss is an asshole. Ah. Bro, we got a better boss for him? My man. That's what we're talking about. Anyways, yeah, this last stage, uh, just a good old medley of all the stuff in the game. Uh, lots of hijinks and soup. In his back, bed, hopefully I live. Beautiful. Alright, the bed is not done yet. Alright, who's ready to count? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 9, 20. Beautiful. Alright, this is the last stay, uh, last screen of the game. It's pretty tricky, so and it's long, so we're gonna hope things go well. They generally don't. They, they, they generally don't.
Now, having said that, right? You know what? Well, actions speak louder than words, right? Oh, that's what they say. That is what they say. All right, this guy is also a scumbag. He, he has like a fair number of attacks and none of them are like great for damaging it. So this one's like unreadable. <laughs> Alright, this is aim, so it's readable. Now I gotta go along. Anyways, yeah, this is the dark form of boss 4. Which, I, I guess lore... Yeah, I, I could explain lore, but I want to focus. Okay, so boss 4 is like Shiratama, which is the classic carnival drawing that appears in a lot of his games, like Destination and, you know, the Crimson, stuff like that. Uh, so boss 4 is like Shiratama, but with Umbreon skin clothing, which Umbreon is typically what Dorothy uses as a profile picture, so you know it's cute. Oh, he's dead! I'm so happy. Dude, bros, 1902, I'm pretty sure that's a world record on 4, so I'm pretty elated for that. Alright, so on to 5. This game never goes well. Hey, I need to hit that button. Hey, I need to hit that button. No. No! Okay, gr granted, this is like one of the hardest jumps in the game. Yeah, if Hyoka started later than me and finished like pretty near it or even ahead of me, then that's definitely an even better time. That's probably an under 19 minutes, which is like really nice because I wanted one of us to get that soon enough. By the way, Hyoka's, like, insane at these games, and I've been doing a lot of practicing as well, so I'm, I'm glad we can put on a show. Anyways, uh, I could also explain, so, 5, which is this game, this starting stage is, like, a big mix-up of a bunch of different things you've seen throughout the series, so, like, there, there was the emoticon save, these lasers are a reference to, excuse me, really, 1, the bottom left's a reference to 2, the Motocons, you know, a reference to three. The first screen's like a reference to a few of them. This one's a big mashup, so this is a reference to three. And then the blackout comes, so it's a reference to two. Yeah, series mixture relay mixture. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Okay, uh, you know, I'd rather reset, because some hijinks happened in the save, and the position of this platform is, like, kind of important. So we go here, and you'd think you'd run right. Nope, you gotta wait for that. And then the bridge collapses, because that's a reference to two. Then you gotta wait here for the platform. Now we hope we don't die to this. Beautiful. Alright, so... This screen genuinely usually takes people over half their gameplay time. This screen is super nonsensical. There's a bunch of random traps and the pathing is pretty cryptic. It's like trying to be a puzzle but it's filled to the brim with traps, so it's pretty hard. And it's also just tricky to execute. Like you have to do this shot on that drop. I'm always amazed when I get it. And now we gotta do a loop back around. Oh. Born in the USA. 
<laughs> I, I'm happy to beat that screen. Alright, this boss. It's a medley of all the bosses before from the other games. Well, not all of them, but like a lot of them. Actually, maybe all of them, to be honest. Okay, there isn't one boss from one. But yeah, there's a lot. So there's the bed, there's the house shooting beds, there's the apartment complex, there's the other bed. And like a lot of things happen here. Oh okay, yeah, here's the men from the building that you may or may not have seen. Right. So here they do revenge shots. The guy on the right, every attack is different. The guy on the left, uh... It's the same, but faster each time. Okay. Now they're back. Okay, this attacks, like, just Wall City. So I'm gonna hope it doesn't do that. You! Ah, thank you. And also this one's kinda hard. I'm not jumping until I got a safe shot. Beautiful. Post-death reference to two. Beautiful. Now we go to the Mind Flood stage. So this stage is made by Klein. Klein's insane. A bunch of things happen and it's pretty nonsensical. So there, there's all these spikes. Uh, just like avoid them, idiot. And just like that. Next, this is the hardest screen of my life. Alright, so we gotta go over here, we gotta hit this, we gotta get it to, like, I don't know, about there, and then we gotta get it to, like, there. I think that's good, but I might need to blue. Okay, beautiful. I'm so thankful. Thanksgiving's coming early, party people, because I am thankful. Alright, this stage is also Mind Flood. The, depending on when they are, that's what spikes kill if they're overlapped okay I'm so thankful all right next this is timed you got to get a bunch of time and there's minus time and you got to get the keys all the keys to leave there's some multiplication that helps I generally just go right and around There, I can just tank the time. I'm gonna take leaving safely. Beautiful. Alright, next. This boss, there's like a million things going on. You just gotta hope it goes well. Okay, blue's not what you want. Because it's aimed. And that's bad. That's bad! Okay, fine. I'll climb back up. Ah, oh, let's go! Alright, beautiful. So yeah, that, how that boss usually goes is either dies, or you're just there for an eternity. So I'm thankful we got the alternative. Next, this stage. Bunch of platforms, bunch of traps. Uh, pretty tricky. Pretty tricky. It's deceptively hard, because like... It kind of looks easy, but then, like, things just don't work. Like, on this screen, the platforms just don't function how I would like them to. And also, Moye. Alright, so that platform is weird. Then you gotta go here. Then you gotta wait for that. Then you go like that, because that triggers far out. Alright, and then mini boss. Uh... 
you gotta damage them equally kind of because if you kill one too early the others will shoot out multiplicative amounts or additional amounts i have lost track of their damage so this is bad because there's gonna be more okay this is fine if i'm the goat it's a good thing i'm the best to ever do it <laughs> all right next Okay, beautiful. This this jump is just hard because you have to shoot this block in a way where you can single jump through it, and it just never lines up well. Like even when you get the lineup, it just sucks. Oh yeah, you shoot those things in the create blocks. That gimmick's never used again. Okay, this creature is a bastard. So there's phase one where he has a few attacks, he opens up and you can damage. This you kind of want to get down because it's dangerous. Yeah, there's a few attacks here, some of them can do more damage than others. Like this is a good one for damage if I don't bloody die. Stay, jump, left, right. Next, okay, get down. I didn't, that's fine, because it wasn't going to go to the next phase anyways. Alright, here I'm going to need to get damage though. Okay. Now phase two, some spikes appear on the bottom, and then it has three attacks it can do. Uh, Wario. Uh, uh, it's, it's like unreadable. It's like so little happens, but so scary. Because the bouncing of these fireballs does not make the most sense. But yeah, there's three people who, who can appear here. There's Wario, there's Mario, and then there's like a guy. The other guy like never shows up though. Because it's a 1 in 10 to roll the other guy, and then a 50-50 for Mario and Wario. Here's Mario. If you touch one of these peas, it flies you up into the ceiling. It's pretty funny. Oh, no, not Wario. Oh. I gotta tell you, that fight looked like nothing happened, but I got incredibly lucky. So I'm... I'm quite elated at that. Alright, next, final stage. This is a reference to Crimson. There's the key. Alright, now we gotta do some stages. Mm. Yeah, I don't know who the last guy is. <laughs> like, he's, a, he's he's some guy drawn. I don't know who, but he's there. Anyways, yeah, uh, here's some lasers. Uh, laser puzzles. You gotta get them in the right order. Alright, here's this screen. Uh, you shoot these buttons, and then these spikes move out the way, and then they slowly move back to their original position. Uh, you have to do some timings with others because you have to run around the room and there's a few traps you gotta remember along the way. That jump's tricky. This screen is like... How I would describe it is... It's like, it feels so good to do it feels horrible to learn. Because there's that trap as well. Because you have to shoot that red button, and then after you shoot it, you can't run because it falls on you. So you have to wait for it to fall, and then you can go. Anyways, final climb. So yeah, if there's any fans of uh, Crimson here, you're going to enjoy the final boss, I think. Anyways, most of this is like pattern, so, a little tricky, but you know, we'll, we'll see if we can get through. Except for the last. The last thing is, uh, the last thing is luck, and if I get bad luck, I don't think I can do anything about it. Because, you see there's six, pla like six blocks now, uh, these are going to come from the top, and one of them is not going to have a projectile. So we're going to hope it's one I can get to. 
That is one I can get to. So I'm pretty thankful. But yeah, if it was like the one on the right, I, I would have just been screwed. Anyways, here's a Crimson, but with the bosses from Series Mixer Relay. Uh, there, there's down shoot spikes and there's up shoot spikes. Uh, the ones below are a lot harder to hit than the ones above. Fortunately, he's given me all low, all, <laughs> all you gotta shoot on the bottom. Thank you, thank you. Oh, thank you, my man. Bro. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! Unless Yoka beats me in that run as well, that's a huge record! 14-17! Holy! Alright, I'm thankful that they died. Goodness me. Yeah, that run went extraordinarily well. I'm, I'm very happy with that run. Anyways, who's six? Uh, it's a very big tonal shift from the rest of the series. Like, like a very big tonal shift. How did that not shoot? I was on the save! You bloody bastard. Anyways, there's a lot of like reset cycles and shooting cycles. Also, I know why it didn't shoot on the save, because, like, bullets are a little bit bigger, so it sometimes messes with shooting the save. This drop is awesome if I can get it. Beautiful. Bro, y'all don't know. Hyoka has the best odds of winning. The last boss is the biggest scumbag. <laughs> Anyways, here's a mushroom. Uh, you gotta shoot him a bunch and hope you don't get wound. I gotta tell you, so far in this, this run, the only run that's gone bad is one. One went bad. The rest have gone very well. These are a little tricky because they shoot projectiles, so you gotta jump up or I already know where to jump ahead of time. Thankfully I do. Alright, so this green guy, uh, he makes that happen, so you gotta go down here and shoot it so you can evade. Thankfully I lived. All right, now we're at the factory. Uh, lots of things happen here. Including but not limited to death. Oh yeah, that comes. Should've been more prepared for that. Oh yeah, and then this shrinks. <laughs> oh yeah, you know what? So, me, I'll, I'll give some me lore. Uh, I've hosted two fairly sizable fan game events called the I Want a Tourney and I Want a Tourney. Uh, I gotta tell you, it is so cool to see all the communities make blind events for their respective communities. That That is so cool to see. Because I've always believed that like events like this are how the best games get made. You know, like, Wanna Fest was made for Fan Game Marathon. Fucking Run the Marathon was made for Fan Game Marathon. And I can only imagine we'll have similar events from, like, the Celeste community and the Monkey Bowl community. Yeah, that that is something I wanna... I wanna say. 
Great, great work, party people. Like, you won't believe it, but people making games is how good games get made. It's, it's astonishing. So this boss is kind of an asshole. So like, if you keep that guy down there- I'm actually already gonna reset because I didn't what I want. So if the people on the bottom are alive, uh, please full jump. This is how Hyoka wins. Uh, if the goons on the bottom are alive, uh, more of these saw blades spawn, which is not good because it gets really dense. I could have lived there. That's my fault. I will blame no one but myself. Fuck that. It's easier to blame something. Bruh. Okay. Now we gotta leave! <laughs> Please! Please let me leave! Please let me leave! Thank you! <laughs> thank you, thank you. I'm them. Alright, that went well. Good, good, good. Everything that goes well is just another thing that won't go bad. Royalty free Umi Neko music. Don't know if there's Umi Neko heads, but that, that's what I refer to this song as. Anyways, there's a few functions in this stage, these blocks shoot and they blow up. Uh, and then the, there's the lasers that you toggle on and off. That's a tricky timing. You gotta get that, beautiful. You gotta shoot that. Yeah. Bonk jump. Alright, shoot there, go through, shoot, get over this one, and shoot. Beautiful. Alright, so these screens, there's like a million things going on. Uh, we're gonna get through it. Beautiful. Alright, next is like the same thing. I'm gonna wait for this guy. Because I didn't like what my lineup was. Alright, next up. This screen. More of the same, except even more insane. Okay, and then this screen just never goes well. Never mind, today- well, okay, save's technically not over because there's this trap. Bro, Stonk is a DDR gamer nowadays. Let me tell you, he can kill it on the DDR though. That would have been a good kill. Anyways, you shoot this thing and then like blocks fall and it's a disaster. But he's dead, which I'm thankful for. Alright, bastard. Oh, you're gonna notice uh, the bastards from the other games are back and you gotta do mini boss rush. They do similar things to what they did. So like that boss shot around the bouncing thing that you gotta shoot. This guy does mostly aiming and is an asshole. Luckily he died as well. Thank you, thank you. Okay, this is the biggest scumbag. He doesn't do any memorization, it's just like a disaster. Through and through. Because things just keep coming in, and it's, it's no good. Come on, man. 
I don't regret that play though, because where the mushrooms were coming in made it a little dicey. Hey, the good news about not watching wolves because you can definitely watch them at some point. Bro. This... It always goes awry, you know? It always goes awry. Thankfully though, this is the one. I didn't get the other damage. That's like okay. I don't like care. Oh, he's dead. I'm happy. Yay. Now, red man. You can get like a two platform cycle here. I won't, but you know, it can happen. Just kidding, I'm the best to ever do it. All right, gang, any questions? We got two minutes of waiting. Oh, the best water I've ever drank. Nine plus ten. Twenty-one. Okay. <laughs> oh, true, true, true. Let me go turn those off. Uh, uh, my my channel, 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 channel. No, go, go to dashboard. Uh. Oh, where the. Power-ups and channel points. There we go. Okay. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. Yeah, uh, for those who no, 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 don't know, on my channel I have a bunch of fucking... a bunch of sound redeems. <laughs> so if people redeem them, there's nothing I can do, so I gotta turn them off. Luckily, only some... The funny goofballs were nice about it. Yeah, so this has been most of the series at this point. Series of pretty good games, I gotta say. Pretty good. Now we'll see how this one finishes out, because this guy can be a right scumbag. What does your headband say? Uh, it's something rg 2 e gave me a while ago. Uh, it says looking for a Japanese girlfriend. I needed something, like, to wear, so I remembered I had this. <laughs> okay, so this, like, sends you back to the past. Uh, and now we gotta go through a bit of what we already went through, and then, uh... And then we'll be at Tanu. Oh, I should have mentioned at the start, but I had like a million things to mention. Uh, if you got the keen eye and keen memory, you might notice uh, something, something interesting about the final stage. Oh yeah, uh, so when you do that and go for that section of like the fake credits, it creates a folder that has the password, and the password is XABY, but you don't have to type it in that order, you can just spam the keys and it works. Anyways, this shifts you to an alternate reality. Alright. Are there any key eye observers that may notice something about this screen? There's something interesting about it, for those who know. Same with this one. 
Same with this one. All right, I'll, I'll take off the, I'll take the rat out of the habit. I'll reveal the trick. Yes, it is. It is. Uh, these are the first few screens of Series Mixture Relay One, except uh, warped. It's a succinct way to put it, I guess. So yeah, the first screen is pretty faithful. That one's not so much. This one is, but like it's completely way different. Oh yeah, this screen is my least favorite screen in the entire series. I know I said it- I think I said it was that other one in 5. I lied, it's this one. Because I hate the top left and I hate these jumps. Man, nothing makes me happier than beating that damn screen. Because <laughs> it's so hard to see the top left for the fog, and it's really bloody tricky. That save says bomb, so you don't take it. We just gotta walk along a bit more. Alright, final boss. The clock and the bug. Both assholes. So this boss has a fun mechanic. Uh, you, you just like freeze. So it takes a while. <laughs> That'll work. So with that you have to read the direction they're coming in which can be pretty tricky. Also you can't jump too high because they can just... The ones that spawn in can just spawn in basically right on you. If you jump too high. That... I think that damage is unfortunate, but oh well. See, this boss has two phases, basically. Uh, this, like, keeps stacking with other things. Like, there's a guy on top there now that follows me, and when I jump, it shoots out projectiles. And then once the clock falters, the bug will be doing more things. Uh, I can't read this, so I'm gonna hope that worked. That did work. Okay. Alright, so here... You're kind of stunted on your movement. So you kind of got to hope it goes well. Yeah, I don't disagree with that play. That was just such an awful angle for that bolt to come in at. Yeah, I don't disagree with that. So yeah, there's the tricky <laughs> part of this fight. It's bullshit! <laughs> Let's go gambling! <laughs> so yeah, you know what? Let's get a stash report on Hyoka, because, like, they could still win this, because this guy is in the way. Um, I think I'm dead. I'm alive, okay. So center warp series run. Okay, that's basically right behind me. Is that high enough? Yes! Okay, thank goodness, thank goodness. Okay. Okay, another thing about these projectiles is the hitbox is so freaking big! Like they're hit I hit nothing! <laughs> nothing hit me and I'm dead! Yeah, so, uh, these bullets have a glow on them, if you notice. It's a very vague, very... You can't see the glow very well, but there is a glow. That glow, even the tiniest speck of dim light, kills you. <laughs> so the projectiles have much bigger hitboxes than you think. So yeah, it, it is truly awful.
<laughs> That's a funny double pause. Ah! Oh! <laughs> My balls. I wish you could shoot him on the ground, man. <laughs> Coming up on time. Time. It's Jover. <laughs> Woo! At 123.59. Very good series. Very good series. No, 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 no. 123.59. No. No, 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 no. Yeah, no, look at my timer. My no, timer's no, 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 no. I got this, I got this. <laughs> 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 oh, I got, I got a, I got a peep on Hilka. How's he, how's he cooking? Oh, he's on the bu- Oh my gosh, what, what a- Man, bro. I got, I gotta give it up to Hyoka. I, I was- I did not think anybody would, else would consider doing this, and then I- start doing runs of this, learning it, because, you know, learning six games in, you know, a few months is kind of a lot of work. But he was like, yeah, you, <laughs> you want to tussle? And I was like, all right, I, I can throw that in the Thunderdome, sure. <laughs> you went absolutely sicko mode on that Crimson boss, by the way. I, that was the most insane gameplay I've ever... <laughs> I, I was so proud. I was so proud. <laughs> <laughs> I was so damn proud of myself. Ah, that's unfortunate. But yeah, th this this final boss is like probably one of the more inconsistent bosses, I'd say. It's really unfair, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> so yeah, let's, let's get our good man Hyoka through. See him out. You got this, Yorka. Get his ass. Bloody great race, I gotta say. It was intense. You two were like neck and neck, back <laughs> and forth. It was so close almost the whole way through. Yeah, I hadn't seen because you know I've been streaming runs of this like one a day for a little bit. Now, granted, a lot of those I instead just played Yakuza Five. <laughs> good choice. <laughs> let's good choice. let's not forget. Good choice. But you know, I wasn't sure if Yoko was keeping up the practice. Let me tell you, he was in the Shadow Realms cooking up the mightiest feast I've seen. <laughs> Bro, dude, I, I was on the. I was on the Haruka section for like a week. That that was the best time of my life. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. I do love that section too. <laughs> uh, the handshaking mini game is like oh, uh, the handshaking mini game is so good. <laughs> <laughs> I I just like the thing. Imagine. Imagine pitching that. <laughs> like, this, this is yeah. the next thing the series does. <laughs> <laughs> Yakuza has the wildest mini games, but they're so good, even for the dumbest thing like handshaking somebody. It's, yeah. It's the same <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, what's the karaoke song of choice? Ah. Uh, that's tough, because, like, a lot of them are pretty limited with what they have. That's tough. That's I mean, you, I mean, you could you could always just go with Bakamita. I mean, that's that's the all timer. Of course, like the classic. It's in every game. Yeah, you'll you'll never go wrong with that, and it's always there. It's like you, you know, it's a generic pick, but but I might have to go with it. I know Machine Gun Kiss is generally there too. Not as big on it though. Not as big on it. 
that's definitely one of my favorites, along with uh, 24 Hour Cinderella, because I like Mod Oh! The, the, the <laughs> set, you know what's so hard about 24 Hour Cinderella? It's, it's like only in Zero, I think. <laughs> yeah, it's only in Zero. That, that, that's the saddest part. That is one of the greatest, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, it's funny, like, I remember the. Uh, like, genuinely remembered the other day, I, I was like looking back at I Wanna Be Wacky, and I was like, oh yeah, the first avoidance is the 24 Hour Cinderella. <laughs> I forgot I did that. <laughs> I've really done a lot of stuff. Ay -ay -ay. Yeah, I know it, it could only be in Zero, because that's like the only one you can play as Majima, but still, it's one of the goats. Like even the new the new series that has um, Ichiban in it, the songs in there in those oh. two are absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, yeah. What's I forget which the which is the one that Psycho does? Oh shit, I don't remember the name of it either. Yeah, uh, I want to say something like Butterfly something other, but I can't remember. Yeah, something like that. That that one's a heater. That that one's a freaking heater. Also, I don't know if you played the English dub. They also have the English version of the songs. It is so nice to hear, like, a, a Western translation have a good vocals. <laughs> that, that's a bloody rarity. Oh, it looks like it's called Spring Breeze, perhaps? No, that's not it. That's the other one that they said. That's sang. not it. Yeah, that's, that's not it. That's the other one, okay. Let's go, Hyoka! Woo! Woo! Let's go! Yeah! All right. <laughs> Beautiful run. Beautiful run. Oh. oh, it's like a butterfly. That's what it is. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. That one's a banger. Yes, yes, it is. <laughs> I will say, I think, I mean, it's, it's not a karaoke song, so I can't quad put it as that, but fucking Haruka's main idol song is so good. <laughs> five, is, five is really good, too. I, I like Five a lot. Five, five's, like, actually one of the chart toppers for me. It is so bloody good. It is, yeah. Uh, what? What the heck? Okay. Well, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, no, I... It disappeared. If, if Hyoka started later than me on four and finished earlier than me on 4, then they definitely got world record. Because I also got world record, so if they entered later than me and finished earlier, that would definitely be a world record. Oh crap, I forgot about that. Hey, Hioka, my man, I, I gotta tell you, what a race. <laughs> what a race. Could have, could have asked for. I mean, I, I knew. He, I mean, I had Hyoka sweep down there for a reason. I, I knew he'd pull up, but my lord. Oh. And good race. Couldn't have asked for a better, uh, better opponent. Indeed, it was a very fine race. Thank you both so much. It was a joy to watch. We were definitely all talking about you two. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, I, you know, I'm I'm much happier to put on a good race than to just win or lose. You know, it's always better to have a good race because that was that that was mighty fine. We we both pulled out our A game. I mean, let me go down the line. Right, so I don't know when they finished the first game, but I did it nine twenty three. That's not very good, but you know, the boss one went well, so I gained like I'd say. You know, minute, minute and a half from what I would usually like. Two went about to average. I'll take it. Three is a minute above world record, which is pretty good for me. Uh, four, I beat the world record by like seven seconds. Yeah, but by, by like seven seconds, uh, which Hyoko may have got even gotten a better time on that. <laughs> uh, I beat SMR5 in 14.17, which is, like, 23 seconds faster than the world record. 
and SMR6 in, you know, about a minute less than I would have liked, but you know, that's fine. Didn't live split then? Yeah, Hyoka, I tell you, definitely go back and retime 4 and 5. I don't know how 3 went for you, but maybe retime that as well, depending on when you entered. Yeah. But I would definitely retime those, because you might have a better time than me on 4, which getting that in the same race would be crazy. <laughs> I also want to say, right? That went super well. Like, we've both been practicing pretty heavily for this. It, like, I've been doing a 1 for 6 run every stream for a while, and. It, these aren't these aren't easy runs. I I'm, I am elated at our performances. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, anyways, I I can stop gushing about ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> hey, nothing wrong with that. That was really good. That's definitely one of the best races. I mean, I've been. At thinking marathon for what like four or five years now that's probably one of the best i've watched in years like it was extremely good hey I'm, I'm, you. i i'm happy that it went so well yeah it was it was absolutely amazing um was there anything else you either one of you wanted to say before we switch to the transition to go to the next oh what what is up next uh up next is gonna be super monkey ball stardust with nambo Ooh, big Dambo, all right, all right. Uh, yeah. I, I guess, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please continue to watch the Fan Game Marathon. Tomorrow, I'll be back on the scene with the blind Sudoku I Want to Be the Guy Fan Game with Cosmo at uh, around 7.30 p.m. if things go to plan. Uh, so tune in for that. I want to thank Hyoka for taking for you know taking me up on this absolutely daunting task i mean running six games all in a row no breaks is no easy thing to do so i would, I would like to thank them put on a great show and uh yeah i, I uh i hope everybody's runs go great all right thank you yeah fantastic fantastic words from yours all right y'all so as you heard before, we got Nambo coming up with Monkey Ball Stars, and from what I've been told, that's one of the best Monkey Ball hacks you'll ever see, so definitely want to be there for that. And so we'll be back to you in just a little bit.